maintaining and communicating with their membership. When judging the magazine categories, we take into account the size of the club, some with thousands of members, others with barely a few hundred. We were impressed with the revamped Oily Rag from the East Surrey NGOs Club, and our runner-up is the... Congratulations and well done. Now, as we all know, as we all know, the best thing for an old car is to use it. We were spoiled for choice, again, from large and small clubs alike. How can you choose, for example, between the Cambridge Austin 7 Vintage Car Club's reenactment of a stupid stunt when the Austin 7 ended up on a college roof? The Mini Cooper Register that Tracy Rose used on the Circuit of Ireland, or the Lotus Excel Net North of England tour that was joined by the car's original designer, Oliver Winterbottom. In any other year, the Sunbeam Lotus Owners Club would have landed the top prize. On Drive It Day this year, 12 cars met at Arbury Service Station, where the last new Sunbeam Lotus built was delivered. To meet up with former employees and ex Torbert staff, they then headed off to Sunbeam Way in Coventry and then put the cars through their paces at the Mara test facility. But that was edged into second place by our winner. Our winner started small with just 13 cars in 2006. <coughs> Since then it's grown to full capacity with 75 cars coming from as far away as Worthing on the south coast up to North Wales. And this year's charity target for the run was an ambitious £10,000, but they ended up raising £13,000 for Hope Has Hospice. So our best club run or rally goes to North Wales Classic Fours Snowdonia Tour, masterminded by Alan Hopwood and David Ormond.